Okay, so let's get started on creating the template and uh, we'll, we're going to start actually getting content on the site. Uh, now there's a couple things we're going to do just real quick um, um, to, to be ready for it. Uh, first, uh, if you want to integrate uh, content rewriting, that, and that's fine. We've got a plugin for that. We got an add-on for that, and it's actually on your download page now. Um, we just had to make a couple adjustments to it, and uh, before we gave it out. So, um, but it's on your download page, and and uh, you can it, it's an add-on plugin. So you uh, you know you upload it as a plugin. Okay, um, so let's take a look at that first, real quick. So once you once you upload it and activate it, it'll be under your settings. And it's called Aubrey Writers. Now, here are the um, the uh, sources that you can sign up for. Okay, so we have all the best, um, all the most. No, I, I use uh, actually Spin Rewriter, um, but of course you can use any of them. Um, I recommend, you know, if you're going to do this, I recommend getting a, a good a, a spinning account, um, rewriting account. You might as well. I mean, it's worth it. Um, if you're doing a lot of these sites, you're, you're going to use it. Okay, so go ahead and get this set up. This is not absolutely uh, necessary or required, but good idea. Okay, so I'm going to add my in my uh, spin rewriter uh, details. Okay, I'm going to check the box and then put in my information here. So if you use spin rewriter, um, basically you just log in. Anyway, after you log in, you're going to go. Whoops, wrong one. You're going to go to API and get and you're going to paste that in along with your email now protected words so if you have uh, certain keywords that you don't want to get rewritten uh, make sure you put those here so that it protects them okay uh, chain rewriting what that is is if you have multiple spinning services okay um, you can choose to have your number one rewriter as one of these um, and two and three and so on so basically what will happen is that it will run down the chain of rewriting okay so that's one part of getting it set up for to uh, start the template next we're going to head over to associate press and templates okay the template that we're going to do first is probably the, the most um, complex and, and it'll be the largest okay and basically what it is called is it's, it's called a uh, what we call like an authority uh, it's an authority content template or a curation template okay so what that means is that the template is going to contain um, multiple uh, uh, content generating sources or multiple sources that the content is generated from and it's going to be put in a you know a specific way and so we're looking at that that's the template we're going to make first so it's it's a, it's a kind of an all-in-one curation template now the templates that you're looking at right right now are just module templates okay um, these are already set and we're, we don't need we don't need any more okay so you got all the module templates in here and we're going to use these module templates in creating a post template so click on post templates okay once you get the post templates you'll see that you have all of your default post templates okay and you can go down through the line so what we are going to do is add a new template and really this is the part that kind of gets fun so and and keep in mind when you're doing this with me um, use your imagination and and because really the possibilities are endless on how you can create a really good template now one thing we're going to be doing is using hyperlinks uh, I believe so and we're going to be copying this so we can use it as an example Okay, so first thing we need to do is name the template. So you can name it whatever you want. Um, I just usually call it the curation template or, or just name it whatever you'd like. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so uh, the main base of this uh, this template is going to be um, article. Okay, so we're, we're going to kind of base and build our template from the article template. So what we're going to do is come down to you start seeing title template tags, and we're going to grab this article title. And we're going to bring it back up here and put it in the post title box. Now, we could put um, uh, content in here that shows uh, like banner ads or, or something like that before and after content. But we're going to use a different way to do that. So we don't need to do that here. 
Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to open up a new website in our tab, not your website, but a different site, and it, I'll give you the link to this, okay? Um, we want to have this information in front of us, okay, because we're going to be needing it, and basically what they what this is is just HTML tags, okay? Um, we're going to be using this in when we're building the template, so you can have this, uh, this open um, here, so we're going to be uh, using these, okay? Now, one of the first parts of the template we'll put in is we're going to go ahead and put in a keyword uh, in H1 tags. Okay, so that way we have um, our either a keyword or a keyword phrase in an H1 tag. Now, your usually your post title is H1, um, or is designated H1, and it depends on what theme you use. So, um, we're going to go ahead and put it in the content. Remember um, that that it can go anywhere really, but um, you know, try to put it in try to put it in um, at the top of the content. So here's what we're going to do. Um, we're going to grab an H1 tag. This is just for my own notes, but I'll give this to you. Okay, so we're going to put our keyword in um, H1 tag. Okay, so let's take out main heading. And now we're going to come down to keyword. And we're going to bring it back up and put it inside this tag, or the H1 tag. Now, it's a good idea to turn this into a phrase. Now, you, you're going to kind of know what type of phrasing that you're going to get based on what your keywords are. Okay, so put in a, 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 a sentence here or a phrase. This is going to be a heading, so put in something that um, will work with um, multiple articles you kind of get what I'm saying so something you know really uh, that can do work with anything so j just for a quick example let's say your keyword or one of your keywords is baby strollers uh, you could put in something like well you know welcome to uh, this article or thanks for reading this article about keyword okay so, so something like that that'll that'll give you an idea okay so now we need to go ahead and put a line we want to make sure that there's a line in between this so before we put our next tag we're going to put in this tag and again I'll give them to you um, so you'll have them okay this tag next we're going to go ahead and bring in our article content tag or uh, yeah content tag okay make sure to bring in the content not the uh, uh, title so let's put that tag in okay so article let's go down one more and we're going to uh, end this line so we're going to put in uh, a p slash okay now after this we're going to put in a type of call to action Okay, another uh, uh, P for starting a new line. And let's put in a call to action. This one ends the line. So this is a new line and this is a new line. Okay, this is where we're going to use our hyperlink. So I'll just bring that up. And here we go. Let's, let's configure our hyperlink. Now, depending on where you want to send this person, this could be your uh, money site. You know something like that but you want to put in the domain where you want to send people Okay, we're going to come back over to our page here, and we're going to use a um, bold tag. Okay, so that's what the, this is the bold tag. And let's go back to our template. And we're going to put the bold tag. Oops, wrong way. Okay, and we need to put the bold tag after. Okay, so that has our keyword bolded. OK, 
Okay, so putting the domain you're sending people to, and this is the actual text that's going to be clickable. Okay, now we're going to be using keywords in here um, on sometimes, but we want to go ahead and use, um, you know, a, a uh, just a general, like a click here. Okay, also. Okay, so if you want to learn more about col uh, your keyword uh, in bold, okay, click here to go to this site. Okay, so I'm going to stop the video here and we'll pick up in the next video this, where we left off.